Yeah, all right. Want to see my monster? Wait a minute. I already done that one. Um, this is another Mako KW. This one was a uh, mobile Mako KW. And I do got the mobile power supply for it, but I don't have enough amps to run that thing. And I converted this one to um, AC or DC. And since I don't have a AC power supply, I'm running it off the um, other uh, Mako power supply that I had for this Mako KW over here. Um, I put in a filament transformer because um, this one doesn't have one because it ran the uh, 89, well, the M2057 12 volt filament tubes right off the DC coming in. So um, I got the original filament transformer for eBay off eBay and put that in there. And I put in a relay so it can go um, AC DC uh, with it. Whatever you put into it, AC or DC, it should run if you got the uh, right um, power supply for it, which I don't have an AC one. But anyway, um, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, that's my little heater, which I don't need with this thing heating up the room, um, is that that um, knob on the side, I was on Facebook, and somebody was arguing with me, telling me that um, that knob on the side is the input tuner and if I didn't have it on I would turn this thing upside down and show that that is not the input tuner that is the um, driver tune cap actually though do I got a bottom cover on this Mako KW over here uh, no I don't so excuse me a second Here we go. That's the um, tuner on the side right there that the uh, one mud duck on um, Facebook was saying that that's an input tuner. And I said, no, it's not. That's a um, driver tuner. Um, for First of all, no amp manufacturer would use a big old expensive air variable cap like that for the input. It doesn't need it you know for the input watts but you know the power coming out of them driver tubes it does need a um, cap with a um, air gap like that to handle the power and the voltage but anyway as you can see on this one uh, turned over and the Mako 750 and the KW are the same amp basically except the um, KW has more tubes of course but anyway um, these are the three driver tubes over here and coming out the driver tubes um, is the um, plate locking cap right here um, it blocks the DC and this lets the RF pass the RF out of the driver tubes goes into this uh, tuning cap and it's an L circuit, meaning it doesn't have a um, load cap. It's just basically a um, tune cap, which this is. And the coil right here, output coil for the L circuit. And then that goes into the input of the final tubes here. Uh, you can see these um, lines where it goes into all eight of them. So that is a driver tune cap it is not a input cap and actually um, this amp does have a um, input SWR adjustment and that's this coil right here if you look at the schematics you'll see that um, some of the Makos have a um, cap along with this coil and it's be a small trim cap it wouldn't be this big old air cap because again you don't need um, a big air gap cap for the input so that's your input tuner on the Mako 750 and the KW this is a KW but the 750 is the same amp just you know less tubes input SWR adjustment mud duck driver tune cap mud duck so anyway that's enough of that one um and this guy is on and uh it should be very warm by now uh, another mako kw 
same as the other one I did three driving eight and we put in the um, filament low voltage transformer which didn't this didn't have because it took the filament and low voltage and ran it right off the DC but this one can go either way um, I guess somebody had overheated it and melted the meter this thing does run hot especially without a it does have a fan in the back but I had to put the cover on uh, to run the fan because the fan is attached to the cover so I'm gonna get another meter for it <laughs> kinda makes a nice window though. I see through there but anyway uh, mud duck radio going in little four wide um, radio this amp of course would do a lot more if I put like a little JB12 modulator or something behind it but anyway going into a dummy load no false watts uh, mud duck radio uh, calibrated to a bird 2000 watt scale there and audio not doing a lot with the little mud duck radio on um, on average Actually, it should be doing more than that. What's it doing on peak? Audio. Yeah, this thing gets detuned. Hello, 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 hello. Audio. Audio. Trying to tune, do the mic. Yell audio. Audio at the same time. Hello, hello, hello. All right, that's better. That's on peak though. Hello, 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 hello. Hanging around fourteen hundred. Hello, 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 hello. It'd do about nine. It'd hit a thousand peak if I tuned it up. But um, again, it's very hard to talk on a mic in one hand. Um, try to tune. Um, and got a camera in the other hand. Hello, 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 hello. Audio. It's about fourteen fifty now. Hello, hello, hello. Not bad for this little uh, Mako KW. Again, that's peak watts. Do a lot less on average. A little mud duck radio going into it. That's my input watts and input SWR right there on the little digital meter. So my converted um, Mako KW AC DC on the uh, trusty old. Um, only uh, base power supply I got this Mako KW power supply all right that's gonna be it for this one and a mud duck on Facebook that's a driver tone cap bye